hatuna raha tukilala wasiwasi kwenda misikitini wasiwasi it is coming and it is growing and it is not a small group itakuwa watu wa kibwezisho na asubuhi wa ramadhani ile ni jambo ambalo at least five people uh, have been killed just moments ago in another brazen attack. Exactly 10.15 a.m., two simultaneous grenade attacks occur in Garissa town in northeastern Kenya. Mombasa County is known for being a major tourist attraction center for Kenya and in recent time has been grappling with serious security concerns. As a, as a government, we have been grappling with security issues uh, quite a number, ranging from terrorism slash al-Shabaab. Police engaging youth in running battles, violence and criminal activities veiled under religious cover has become a common sight. What is the main cause, we may ask? The main cause has been the fragile Somaliland. land, you remember? I would like to say that uh, the extent uh, 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 at which radicalization has um, uh, affected uh, the coast region is is not something that we can uh, underestimate. Tuki angalia kusiana na hali ya radicalization katika sehemu ya mkoa wa Pwani ama coast region. Kwa kweli ni hali ambayo imetuathiri sana sisi kama Waislamu. Hususan pande za vijana na imeharibu sura yote ya Uislamu. Many say that radicalization has contributed immensely to the cases of insecurity in the region. It is also agreed that there are other dimensions to the problem, notably drug and substance abuse, unemployment and illiteracy. His Grace Martin Kivuva Musonde, the Archbishop of Mombasa, who has the youth at heart, encouraged leaders to tackle the problem through a peace caravan initiative with the theme Pamoja for Peace Pwani. One, we are marking a unique event in the sense that we are uniting ourselves as Christians, as non-Christians, as Muslims. We even have a message from his town. The man beside me is called Lichio. He is the one who put the dream in my mind about the peace caravan you're going to hear today. Lizio Davosa hails from Cremona in Italy. After discussion with the, uh, Your Excellent Martin Kivuva Musonde, Archbishop of uh, Mombasa, I have met him in uh, Kilifi. And uh, after three hours of discussion, he asked me, but you, concretely, what do you pre uh, propose? And I said, I propose a peace caravan. Why peace caravan? Because the terrorism, the terrorism wants the, that the uh, people not does not, uh, does not uh, come out. He obliged the people in house. He, this is not good. We have experience of terrorism in Italy. We have wind that, uh, that, uh, that terrorism, not with guns, no, but with people's 
millions and millions and millions of people on the road, in the squares, everywhere, in the, in the church, everywhere. The day before the bombing of Garissa uh, University, I got a call, this was uh, uh, not a call, the, the Sunday before, I was in Tudor, and I got a call from a man I don't know. And when he called me, we agreed to meet on a Wednesday, the day before the bombing of Garissa. And this man, Licio Davosa, from a town called Cremona in Italy, when I met him in Kilifi, I told him, don't come all the way to Mombasa, we met halfway in Kilifi. Then uh, I asked him, why did you want to see me? He said he was told to speak to me. And I said, what about what? He said he has a dream, and this dream is about a peace caravan. That is the first time I heard about peace caravan. My name is uh, Reverend Father Lago. I'm the Vicar General of the Catholic Diocese of Mombasa. And I also work as Chairman of the Coast Interfaith Council of Clerics. Otherwise, I work in the Shuda St. Joseph Catholic Church as a father in church. The Peace Caravan aimed at reaching grassroots communities uh, to promote peace through interfaith approach uh, among a section of Kenyans who are normally not reached by the mainstream uh, media communication. And as Christian with the Catholic Archdiocese of Mombasa, to our youth, to start a youth uh, peace caravan on the 25th November 2015. The aim of this youth caravan is to promote peace through the youth mobilization, interfaith prayers, and public awareness in coastal region and beyond. And so the Peace Caravan Initiative was hatched, whose first activity was a roadshow with an aim to preach and promote peaceful coexistence in the coastal region. We are one. And remember that we are one. The Mombasa Catholic Secretariat staff, together with youth from different faiths, snaked through the county with messages of peace, love, and harmony. They made stopovers in different towns in the county to emphasize the need for religious tolerance and peaceful coexistence. Peace, 
The other important activity planned as part of the Peace Caravan Initiative was an interreligious prayer forum which took place at the Archdiocesan Pastoral Center in Tuda. Religious leaders from the Hindu, Christian, and Muslim community came for the event. Also invited were government and political leaders from the county who together came to support the Peace Initiative. After the prayer rally, all gathered together to pray for and wish well the youth who would represent the Mombasa Archdiocese for the Papal Mass in Nairobi. Father Willibad Lago, the Vicar General, and Hazel Katana, the Deputy Governor of Mombasa, flagged off the convoy. <laughs> We took advantage of the arrival of the Pope to mobilize the youth uh, from Mombasa so that we can travel by road addressing the communities along the highway to Nairobi and who in normal circumstances hardly hear any interfaith message. <laughs> Okay, this is, uh, my name is Herbert, I'm a paramedic. Uh, this is a Kenya Red Cross ambulance. This is an advanced life support ambulance. So, we are prepared for this uh, peace caravan from Mombasa to Nairobi. And uh, we have stocked enough drugs, which includes uh, most of the time painkillers, and uh, anything to do with the dehydration to ensure that uh, the people who are traveling to Nairobi receive the best care. Over 800 youth from Mombasa journeyed together in the convoy to Nairobi, passing through various towns along the Mombasa-Nairobi highway. Upon reaching Makindu, an interreligious meeting had been planned for the Makindu residents, giving the organizers and participants of the peace caravan from Mombasa another opportunity to preach peace. Lakini program yake rasmi inaanza kesho asubuhi na inaanza saa mbili na viongozi kati ya viongozi 20 na 30 wa dini mbalimbali wakiemo wakilishi wa suke na CIPK The trip to Nairobi was a huge success. The cooperation with youth enabled the message to reach many. Our leaders had a word of advice to the youth. La mwisho ni tungesema kwa vijana wote wa Kenya wa Islamu na wasukua wa Islamu. Ni lazima watu wasome dini zao kwa uzuri. Ni lazima wasikilize wakubwa zao, wa wazazi wao, wa alimu wao. Wawe wakikaa wakipata maelezo na mafunzo kutoka kwao. I would advise the youth in the coast region to go to school. 
to study, qualify, jobs are there if you qualify. So if you don't go to school and you don't uh, study to qualify, uh, don't blame the government that you are not employed. Um, from your, where, you, where you sit, what would you tell our young people today, and particularly the ones in Mombasa, because they are the target of all these part of this insecurity? I, I guess uh, youth should not be ac accept to be used by the politicians. They should not be to be used by drug barons because it's about their life. It's not about the life of the politicians. The peace caravan had two uh, categories. One is a peace caravan. The second one is to mobilize resources so that uh, we can take the youth who are unskilled to technical schools so that they acquire skills that will enable them to be employed for jobs that are already there. In 20 years, we have built in Kenya five schools for 1,600 students, from nursery to secondary school. Very, very important uh, schools. One, the first became excellent school in Gategi, uh, Karabadi district. After we want uh, uh, to collaborate uh, with uh, uh, Bishop Musonde in Mombasa. We want to uh, help him uh, building schools for uh, children. For me, it's important children because if you don't take children at three hours, years, excuse me, at three years, they are lost. Education is at the core of the Peace Caravan Initiative. Its objective is to see that the young people, despite the obvious financial and societal challenges, may get at least vocational training so that they may get means to earn a living and thus refrain from any terrorist and criminal activities. Let us join hands and support the Peace Caravan Initiative morally and financially. Pamoja for peace.